Well, hello and welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back to Pokey Oracle. Today we have something super special that I am so excited to show you, and that is this giant box of CGC returns. This weighs about 50. 15 pounds and I am so excited to get into this. I did this submission before my channel either in the spring or around August last year. I can't remember but I do want to get into this so let us go. It is huge. I have to open it on the floor and I want to show you that I have not opened this yet have it upside down because there's shipping info on the other side. I hope you understand. So, there are two, man, why am, I, why am I so out of breath? And here are the two boxes, two of two. Let's open up one of one. We're going to <laughs> undo the tape. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. And look at all of those beautiful, shining cards. Wow, oh my goodness. So this one isn't completely full like the other one, but still it has quite a few, no less. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these out but lay them face down so we don't see the grades. I haven't checked anything about these. I wanted it to be a total surprise. That is why I'm super excited. So let's do that. Holy smokes. Look at that in all of its glory. It's almost as tall as two Pikachu boxes stacked on one another. So let us get started. Okie dokie, here we go. Our first CGC submission back from many, many months. And we have Sabrina's suggestion from 2019 team up. She's an 8.5 and she is beautiful. I remember buying these or this particular card way back when and I remember that from one of the buyers you could smell the smoke on it like cigarette smoke and I was wondering like what in the world because I had never oh okay because I had never experienced that in all the time I've been collecting Pokemon cards it looks a little dusty because of the cardboard uh, packaging that it came in, but it looks like this one got a little bit lower of a grade and it's pretty obvious why. It's right heavy, meaning it has a heavier frame width on the right side than the left, but I am pretty happy to get an eight and an 8.5. It's not every day you get that. Oh, Cynthia and Caitlin is a nine. Very nice, it's from the Cosmic Eclipse set, which I really enjoy that set, but of course, I do enjoy Ultra Prism. Wow, talk about a brain fart. So, to me, those two are pretty dang cool. Now, there is a mix of Japanese and English. This is Misty and Lorelei, or Laura Lee from Tag Team GX, Tag All Stars, got an 8.5. Now I didn't get the subgrades because it would have been another, I think, $50 at the time. And let me tell you, for as many cards as I have here today, I was not going to get any subgrades at all. Oh, I do have duplicates. I told you it's been a long <laughs> time since I submitted these. We have a nine, another Misty and Lorelei. Yeah, I can't remember if I sent these in in the spring or in the autumn or in, in the autumn, in autumn. Blah, blah, blah. We have a Glaceon Pokemon 2019 from Sun and Moon Promos. It's a 9.5 gem mint and I liked it because a lot of these cards I'm going to keep. I'm not planning on selling these. A lot of these are, oops, 
A lot of these are for keepsakes. Oh yeah, we have an 8.5 Sylveon EX from the Generations Packs. See, for example, this one. I'm going to keep this one. It is very cute. I don't have anything against people selling their graded cards. Hey, got it's a hustle. You gotta do what you gotta do. But for me, a lot of these cards I am going to keep. So there is Sylveon with the cute little Eevee. Next up, oh yeah, I, <laughs> I remember this, the Spiky Eared P2M. I think I have all three of these graded. We got a nine mint, he is adorable. I love the holographic on there, super cute. Next up we should have, oh, we have doubles of this guy. So we have an 8.5 of the same Pichu. Next, yeah, see, there's different ones. I really like this one just because it's bright and bubbly. Um, it's the random pack from the movie Calm. Super cute, we got a nine on that guy. And oh my gosh, so this is a classic. I rem This is one of my personal cards actually from way back when. This is the 1999 Japanese gold silver to a new world hollow. I remember pulling this out of my personal collection because I wanted to see how good of a grade he could get. And I am so surprised that he got an eight for how I treated my cards when I was little. Oh my goodness, like that is so cool. He's so cute. Oh, I love the colors of that card too. Next up, we have Pokemon Center Lady. She did get a nine. I don't know why they don't call her Nurse Joy. It doesn't make any sense. Looking at her now that I'm more experienced in grading, I do notice she is very right heavy she has a lot more border on the right than the left and you know what you you learn you really do learn and sometimes it takes a little bit Ooh, Skyla from Shining Fates she is a very beautiful card I absolutely love Skyla and you know what I am okay with a nine she is very very pretty indeed Still looking for a 10. Oh, I thought she was cute. I really like the aesthetic for Nita. She got an 8.5 and she's from Team Up. She is very cute. Again, very right heavy and bottom heavy. She got that booty. I think I have her other, yeah. So here's Evelyn here. It's all coming back to me. And here's, um, a nine actually from team up again she's got some little cardboard dust on her from being in the box let's see what else we have oh here we go so during if you guys remember when pokemon was huge at mickey d's this past what was it last year there were a lot of oh my gosh I just remember um, a bunch of people waiting in line just to buy the cards. And I was like, oh, come on, man. Just buy like one Mickey D's, uh, what is it, a kid's meal or whatever. And I say that because I bought this around the same time that whole spiel was going on. So we have another 8.5 of the Pikachu I Choose You. And that's actually a ho ho feather, I believe. So very, very cute. It's a Black Star promo. I choose you from the sun and moon. And here we go. Oh my gosh. So XY break promo of Pikachu Outbreak. This actually reminds me when I went to Japan, they actually had a little mall. It was called Pallet Town, funny enough. And it had a Ferris wheel, and you notice the Ferris wheel back there? My goodness, like it is just so cute. I can't get over it. 
So every time I see that card, I will think of the actual palette town that is in Japan. So I think we're going into a little bit of a Pikachu phase from what I remember. There's still some major dusties, it's not on the card. So this is an 8.5 Pikachu Japanese from Sun and Moon Promos as a tag bolt release from Aeon. So that's what that little tag is there. Isn't he adorable? So cute. So no tens yet. We still have quite a ways to go. Oh yeah, and there are a couple doubles. Like I said, I don't remember what was in this particularly. I think there's a couple Hidden Fates or Shining Fates Evolutions. And then I remember one other card specifically. So this one is for my personal collection. This is Pikachu Japanese Sun and Moon promo. It's from a special set. And there are multiple Pokemon who are sitting in a field. They either have a flower crown or they are just sitting by flowers. I don't know. I think it's just super cute. And I'm actually quite happy with the nine. Let's see what else. Oh, I forgot about this one. Pika Pikachu, or Pika Pika Pikachu Camp Hollow. <laughs> Try saying that 10 times fast. So this got a 9.5. I think it is super cute. Like I said, oh yeah, and there's a bunch of little Pikachus in the tree trunk. Super cute. And then the Kanazawa Pikachu Pokemon Japanese sword and shield promo from the Kanazawa opening. I've seen this go for, um, I'm not sure about the price, but I've seen it go for very, very expensive, very high in numbers. However, I do want to keep at least one of these for my collection. And if any of you are interested, I can actually open up an eBay site so that I can link you down below if you would like to purchase these cards. Let me know if you're interested about that because I think I will be selling quite a few of these just cause and I like to try and sell them at reasonable rates. I don't, I do not promote the scalping rates by all means. So I would try and make it as fair as possible. So if you are interested, please let me know. This is Shibuya's Pikachu Pokemon from the Poke Central Shibuya opening. He is so cute. I really love this one. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this one. He is just so, so sweet. So we are going on to the next tower. <laughs> First box. Oh yeah. So this is Misty's Determination. She's a full art trainer, I think it's it's been a hot minute. And she's from the Evolutions from 2016 and she got an 8.5. Here's good old Bay or B. She is so cool. I love how she is the fire fighting type. I really love the aesthetic and honestly I think I like the rainbow version of this more and she got a 9.5 very very close so close let's see if we can get a 10 oh yeah I remember buying this on eBay long long time ago it seems like a long time ago I just thought she was super pretty I really like Phoebe she's super cute and I just love how she has those big old flowers in her hair. I, I really like the, uh, the aesthetic for that 100%. Oh yeah. So I remember opening <laughs> the Generations here and I absolutely fell in love with the Flareon EX, even though it has, you know, Vaporeon and Jolteon too. I thought, they were so cute, I had to get it graded, and they got an 8.5. I think I have another duplicate of those. Yep, sure do, there she is, an 8.5 for this guy. Moving on, see what else, oh, 
<laughs> That's right. I pulled quite a few and I wanted to get all of them graded in hopes I could get something good. Now keep in mind, I did grade these when, when I wasn't nearly as experienced and I do notice the issues such as right heavy, but I am okay with the grades. I really do love Pokemon and it doesn't bother me too much about the grades because I really, ooh, we got an 8.5 on this one. I enjoy the cards more than, well, I shouldn't say that. Like I do, I would really love to get a 10, but ultimately collecting and keeping these encapsulated so that they don't get damaged or anything like that is something that means a lot to me as well. Oh yeah, so I got this really cool Umbreon from Lost Thunder. It's very cool. It's a hollow unified mind stage one blister. It's holographic. It's very subtle. I'm trying to get a little bit of a view for you on that one if my camera would focus. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Very subtle. I really love the Umbreons. The dark Pokemon in particular are very cool. So here is another favorite of mine. It's the Espeon 2000 uh, Crossing the Ruins Hollow. And I think I have another one in here. Let's see, she should be next. So that one got an 8.5. This one got an 8.5 as well. Very, very cool. I'm actually happy with that considering how old these are now. This is a 20 year old card, you guys. 20 years old. Some of you aren't even 20. Like, that's super mind blowing. Crazy. So yeah, I really love having these cards encapsulated and safe for all of eternity. Yep, see, here's some of those evolutions I was talking about. We have a Glaceon GX from Hidden Fates. She is a shiny and she is very cute. She got an eight. Here's an Eevee GX. She also got an eight. She is from the Tag Team Power. And oh my gosh, I think it is just super cute. I, I love, I really do love Pokemon so much. And here's another one. This one got an 8.5. Very cute. Oh yeah, so I saw this card and I had to get it. This is a black and white promo from the Poke Fair. And it's actually a 7-Eleven stamp rally. So you would have to run around and get all these different stamps and able to get the 7-Eleven edition card. Oh, and I remember when these came out, these gym type um, with this little label. I saw this and I fell in love. It's the Sword and Shield Eevee, and she's from the 2020 gym pack. She got an 8.5. She's very cute. We also got another one of an 8.5, so we'll keep on going. Oh, this one is super cute. I love the Eevee and how there's multiple Pokemon in there. It's a Sfeel and Eevee. We got an eight on this guy and it's from the Sun and Moon promo for the Friendly Perch Camp. Super cute. Here we go. I remember doing a few Charizards just because it's always good to have a few Charizards in your collection of different types. And I think it's really neat because it has these jewels here. And it's something you just don't see. It actually reminds me of the Pokecune. And I just, I really, really love the variety for those. Yep, so here's another one. We got an 8.5. And then we have a Mint 9 Charizard V Max. You know, I bet you with a lot of these, I could turn them into PSA and get 10s instead of 9s. But the wait time and the, the prices are just a little crazy right now. 
So here we have a Charizard Champion's Path. This was the card you would get in the ETBs for Champion's Path. So this one got a nine. Like I said, it's always good to have some Charizards. Oh yeah, so this is one of my favorite cards. There's also a Delta species of Gyarados where he's an electric type. That is my top favorite. But this Heart and Gold Soul Silver Hollow Gyarados is beautiful. I just, I'm so glad I was able to get him graded and encapsulated for life. He is a beauty. Oh, and I actually, this one I got graded for a friend because they grew up with Pokemon just as I did. And oh my gosh, they, they used to have this card and something happened to all of their Pokemon cards. And I remember them saying that they absolutely loved this card and as soon as they said that I got it for them for their birthday and this one to match with it it came in a set of two the flying Pikachu and the Dragonite so this is all Nippon Airways plain on right and then it's it's basically the all Nippon Airways um, set it comes with those two cards and I'm so glad we got an eight so now we are moving on to box number two. And here we have, oh, the Islands Collection. Now, I wanted to get these graded because one, why not, they're so cute. And this one got an 8.5 for the Togepi Southern Islands. I really love the island set. And yep, see, <laughs> here's Executor. He got a nine. Very cute. Yeah, I got all of these graded. Here's the War Turtle from the Southern Islands. He got a nine. And then we got the Slow King Reverse Hollow at an 8.5. Keep in mind, these are 1999 cards. So these are over 20 years old. It's insane. Here is the Pidgeot from Southern Islands. He got a nine. And then the Onyx, he also got a nine. Very cute. Here is the Reverse Hollow Mew that I'm sure any Pokemon collector would recognize in a heartbeat. So Mew got an eight. I really, really love that. She's so pretty. Super cute. And there we go for that, I suppose. <laughs> so I decided to get a GameStop Flapple graded because, I don't know, I think it's cool that GameStop gives out cards with um, their little stamp on it. So I thought that would just be a really cool thing to keep. It's at an 8.5 and it's that GameStop Flapple promo. And I also got the Zanaconda GameStop one graded as well. I got an eight. I remember grading, or I remember submitting a couple of these shiny Girarchis. And I'm really happy that we got an 8.5. That is so cool. She's so shiny too. I really like how she is just shiny. And then we got an eight on the second shiny Girarchi. Very cute. It's from the Shining Legends set. And ooh, we got a nine. So we got a little bit of everything. Very cute, very nice. So oops, so no tens yet. So these, okay. So these Arceus or Arceus cards, I find to be really, really cool. And I wanted to get them graded because of the new game that just came out and I thought it would be a really cool collection to have all of these Arceus cards. And this is from 2009, it's a movie com random pack card. And I think you had to go to the movies or the art or something like that um, to be able to get these cards. I, I honestly, I can't remember 
why, I don't know. You'd think I would remember. Oh, and I actually got this one graded for a friend too. This is a Blastoise Unleashed uh, pre-release promo. And um, my friend loved it so much that I decided to get it graded for them. So we got that as an eight. That is a great grade considering how old some of these are. This one as well. This one is a classic. Um, any new card I feel like is a great card to have. This one got a nine and this is from Myth Legends Dream Shine. And it's also a first edition. And I'm really happy that we were able to get a nine. That is so, that is so cool. I'm really happy with that one. Here we go, we got a Mewtwo Breakthrough. Now he got an eight. He is gorgeous and so boss. <laughs> I'm so happy that we were able to get an eight for that. I'm gonna move a little faster just because there are so many to get through. Here is a nine Mewtwo Pokemon Unbroken Bonds Cosmos Hollow. This is from the Costco <laughs> Tins Pack. This was the very first video I did for my channel. And oh my gosh, I think I only got that one graded, but he is cool nonetheless. We got an 8.5 for the Mew GX from Unified Minds. I remember pulling this card and oh my gosh, that was such a cool day. Ooh, so these Charizards are really cool. This is Legendary Treasures Hollow. I call these like vinyl hollows because when you look at a vinyl, granted they're circular, but they have these kind of lines. And I really like that. Um, I know there's probably a couple more Charizards in here. Yep. So here is a Team Up Cosmos Hollow. This is also from the <laughs> Costco 5 Tin Pack, and we got an 8.5 on him. We got a 9 Reverse Hollow from the Vivid Voltage set of Charizard. Very cool. And another 9 for the <laughs> same Charizard card. Very nice. How many Charizard cards did I put in here? <laughs> Oh, so this is a cracked ice. It is a little different. It, see how the holographic looks all geometric? That is the cracked ice Charizard Vivid Voltage at an 8.5. Very, very nice. And another one at 8.5. Very cool. I really like the cracked ice. It's very different from anything that um, Pokemon had come out with in a while. But ooh, there is a lot of duskies on these guys. But we got a nine for this one. <gasps> ooh, very nice. I love it. So this is our final stack, you guys. And so far, we've gotten some pretty good grades. No tens, but that's all right. And let us get into the last bit. So this is Honey. I remember seeing her and I thought, ooh, that would be a cool card to have. So we got Sword and Shield promo for the Rapid Single Strike. And she is at a nine. I think there's a couple honeys in here. Yep, and here is another nine honey. Same exact deal, very cool. I love the green she's wearing. Excuse me. Oh, so here is a Shadowless base set Japanese CD promo. I did get this one graded. Um, I bought it offline and I thought it was just a really cool addition to have to the collection. See how there's no shadow on this side? It's really difficult to find these kind of cards and it looks like Pikachu there got an 8.5. Mew here got an 8.5 as well the CD promo and glossy very cool sorry there's lots of duskies on here super cute and then here is the Mewtwo Pokemon Japanese this is also the vending machine series 
So they are very glossy, very pretty, and very cool. We got Mewtwo at an 8.5. And then we got the Arcanine as a 9. Very cool. He's also glossy series. And here is the Hungry Snorlax. You'll remember these from the CD I opened. Um, I'll put the link in the description below if you want to watch that video. It is so cute. I love this card so much. I can see why he got an 8.5 and that is okay. He is adorable nonetheless. And here is the Porygon 9. He is super cute. I really love this. Oh my goodness. So cute. And he has a swirly. It's a little difficult to see. There we go. I think you can see it in the top right. But Porygon got a 9 from the CD promo. Oh, then we're jumping back into the Southern Islands. So here's the Primeape at a nine for the Southern Islands. Here we have Lickitung for the Southern Islands. He got a nine. Yeah, I guess they um, redid the uh, order that I set them in. Here is an eight vile plume for the Southern Islands and he is a reverse hollow. So cute, oh my gosh. And then we have a Tentacruel as a 9 for the Southern Islands as well. I love how there's multiple Pokemon in these. So cute. And the Lapras at an 8.5 for the Southern Islands with his buddy Dratini. Oops. And a Meryl Reverse Hollow with his buddy Magikarp at an 8.5. Jigglypuff. This is from 1997, you guys. This is crazy. Crazy old, but in such great condition. And Jigglypuff got a 9. And also the Butterfree from the same Southern Island set as a 9. And an 8.5 Letty Bug Reverse Hollow from the same set. The Ivysaur, he got an 8.5 from the Southern Islands as well. Looks like they scuffed up my casing a little bit. That's a little disappointing. Don't know if you can see that, but oh well. He is safe and sound. That's all that matters. All right, and this is our last one. What is it gonna be? <laughs> a Raticate from the Southern Islands at an eight. Very cool. And thanks for joining me in this really exciting opening today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what card was your favorite in today's video. And I will see you guys next Thursday at three here on Pokey Oracle. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.